The perfect cup of tea has exactly the same amount of ingredients as any other ordinary cup of tea. But it's not the ingredients that make the perfect cup of tea, but the method. Let me explain. Every cup of tea starts with a kettle full of water being put on boil. At this point, most people have the luxury of waiting for the water to boil before proceeding to the next step. But to make the perfect cup of tea, there's no such thing as waiting. Whilst the water is boiling, the mug is carefully selected. We then get the tea bag and lay it flat in the bottom of the mug, followed by one teaspoon of sugar and approximately four tablespoons of milk. Yes, you heard it right the first time. Once all three ingredients are added into the mug, we put it in the microwave for about a minute. This is the most important step. Without this step, the perfect cup of tea becomes just an ordinary cup of tea. How? Well, this step allows maximum flavor to be released from the tea bag and the hot milk. During this process though, it's important we keep an eye on what's happening in the microwave as spillages can often occur. Following this crucial step, the boiling hot water should be ready for pouring. Whilst pouring the boiling hot water, we pour from approximately 35 centimeters high. Leaving about three centimeters of space from the top of the mug, just the right amount of space for lip suction. Now, depending on how strong you like your tea, you might leave the tea bag in for a few minutes. But in order to make the perfect cup of tea, we leave the tea bag in for 27 seconds. And then squeeze any remaining juices before disposing of the fully utilized dead tea bag. Finally, we give the tea two clockwise stirs before removing any dry layers of scum. And here we have it, the perfect cup of tea. But don't take my word for it. To prove to you that this truly is the perfect cup of tea, I put it alongside an ordinary cup of tea for a taste test. I should note that for the normal cup of tea, I use the standard method of boiling the water, adding it in with the tea bag, putting a spoonful of sugar followed by a splash of milk. Without knowing the types of tea, my dad here will now taste both cups and pick the one he likes the most. Told you, 